the InfoSight and see what's on the agenda for today. Tessellation. What is a tessellation? You see them every day? Look at this paved driveway. Do you see the shape that is repeated? Well, this is what we call a tessellation. It's a repeated arrangement of a congruent or equal shape without any gaps or overlaps. How about this tiled bathroom wall? Do you see the square that is repeated? In our last example, I'm sure you remember this pattern as a regular hexagon. Can you guess where we found it? If you sat on an overpass on Highway 595, you'd be correct. Some polygons also tessellate. Let's look at a few samples of polygons which do tessellate. Our first example shows a group of triangles which are tessellated. Notice that there are no gaps or overlaps. To illustrate this, I'll take two shapes which are exactly alike. Notice when I try to lay them side by side, you see gaps. If I lay them so that there is no gaps, you see that they overlap. Therefore, these two identical shapes do not tessellate. Can you identify the type of triangle used? Yes, they are equilateral triangles. Notice also, because of the way these triangles are colored, that you can also identify another shape which we learned about, called the rhombus. Or, if I turn the paper sideways, you can see that that rhombus is a parallelogram. In our second sample, we see regular hexagons. They are six-sided polygons with six sides equal in length and six angles equal in degrees. Again, the polygons fit together without gaps or overlaps. A combination of polygons used together can also be tessellated. Notice that this example shows regular octagons and squares combined to create a tessellation. It is not necessary to use only polygons to create tessellations. Here are some samples created by my students. Let's look at them and then I'll show you how you can create your own tessellation. Our first example shows a rather simple tessellation and then the colors were added later to add interest to the tessellation. Let's look at the second one now. The second one's a little more involved. You can use your imagination and try to figure out what the student was trying to relay. Let's look at the third one. This is one of my favorites. Notice the tessellation is colored to look like different faces. Very interesting. Now let me show you how to create your own tessellation. I begin with a 3 inch by 3 inch piece of tag board or cardstock. I label the side I'm using as A. I draw a design at the top of side A and label it 1. Then I choose one of the sides and draw another design and label it 2. Notice the two designs. I then cut out section 1 and slide it straight down and tape it to the bottom of side A. I made sure that the straight sides fit tightly together before I tape them. Did you notice that the bottom of side A looks just like the opposite of the top of side A? Next, I cut out section 2 and slid this section straight across to the opposite side and tape it. I again make sure that the straight edges fit tightly together before taping. It looks like this. My pattern is now complete. How are you doing? I hope you're able to follow along. I then take my pattern and trace it onto a piece of paper. Later, I'll color it. Notice that the pattern fits neatly on the paper with no gaps and no overlaps. Therefore, it's a tessellation. 
as you create your own tessellations, be creative in your designs. However, don't make them so complicated that you cannot cut them out. Fill up your entire paper with your design. As you trace your design, it will run off your paper. Now that's to be expected. Just make sure your sections fit together perfectly. Otherwise, you'll have gaps. Since this is our last time together in this series, I want to let you know how very much I've enjoyed presenting these programs. I hope you had fun and learned a lot. I know I did. Keep practicing your constructions and put to work the things you've learned. I'm going outside now to chart my next destination. Come on along. Gee, everything looks great out here. I think I'll practice my transformations. <laughs>